October 20th is Mast Cell Disease Awareness Day. It is a day of educating people that we all have mast cells. We couldn't live without them. But if you have mast cell disease, it can make life very challenging. Mast Cell Disease Awareness Day is also a day about raising hope. There is a whole community of patients, caregivers, healthcare professionals, and advocates who understand the challenges of mast cell disease, and they are working to improve testing and treatment to make it better and more accessible. Here are some messages of hope from some of our community leaders. I know firsthand what it is like to have mast cell disease, but I also know the challenges of managing it. I want you to remember, you are not alone. Don't give up. There is hope out there and you are able to feel better and get back to achieving your goals regardless of what they may be. But be patient because what works best for one person may not be what works best for you and there are many interventions out there. Life is a winding road with a lot of detours and road construction along the way. But you are able to enjoy the scenery. Take control of the mast cells to steer in your optimal direction instead of them controlling you. You've got this. Mast cells are often referred to as the new kid on the block. And that's because doctors are only really just starting to understand the impact that this mast cell activation can have on a person's body, which can be very far reaching and very disabling for many people. But there are things that we can do. We can look at mast cell stabilizers. We can change diets, going on a low histamine diet. And really importantly, Finding out what our own personal triggers are is going to be really useful. So is it smells? Is it diet? Is it stress itself? Is it lack of sleep? So many different things can be impacting the activation of those mast cells. So don't give up hope. There are things we can do to manage this condition. And I wish you well in your journey. We want you to know you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are supported far more than you know. Caregivers and patients, we want you to know that you have a full community behind you of fellow patients and fellow caregivers and providers. You are supported. Never feel like you can't reach out. We are here for you. I've been specializing in tending to MCAS patients for about a dozen years now, and if there's one thing I've learned in that time, it's that if both the MCAS patient and the doctor practice patients, persistence, and a methodical approach, the odds of a successful outcome are good. These remain the earliest days in medicine's awareness and understanding of this very complex and challenging disease, but my experience suggests the odds are good that you'll beat the challenges with patience, persistence, and method. Keep working to find the professionals willing to learn about MCAS and willing to at least try to help you. Keep working with them to help them help you and then help educate others once you've found helpful treatment. Good luck. Mast cell disease can impact every aspect of a person's life, but there is reason to be hopeful. We are learning more and more about mast cell diseases every day, and there are ways that you can treat your symptoms and look for causes and get feeling better. So keep up the good work, keep up the courage, keep up the patience and the determination. You're stronger than you know. I dream of a day when we don't need to be aware of our mast cells, when we can just forget about those guys and not worry about what they're up to. But until then, all of us at Standing Up to Pots give a toast to the people who are living with mast cell disease and to those working to make life better for us patients. Keep up the good fight, everybody.